Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this glittery smoky eye. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I've been loving smoky eyes recently so I wanted to get on here and film um, one of the versions that I really like to do that I've really practiced at so if you guys want to see that and see how I got this look then please keep watching. Don't even have what I need around me so that's bad. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the brows. And for my brows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. Really, really love it. Been using it a lot. Literally hit bowl pan, pan. Um, yeah, I also would use my e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil, the Instant Lift Brow. But for today's look, I wanna go in with the dip brow. So I like to use this e.l.f. brow pencil. It's um, dual ended. It's really really good. It's like three dollars. I would get this one. I love the fact that it's clear too. Part of like their clear brushes but I'm just gonna fill in. I kind of go nicely and almost like I like to put the brush to the side because it helps me create like that arch that I like and then I kind of go in you know fill in like the hairs that I feel like need to be filled at the front I kind of flick and I use leftover product to kind of create like a box in the front not going harsh like I do for like the end because I don't want it to be as deep or as like defined so yeah Next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to put that in between the brows. Also, if I feel like the beginning is like a bit thick, you know, I kind of fix that with it. And then that's going to go under the brow and onto my eyelid to use as my eyeshadow primer. But before I blend that out, I do want to go in with my normal face primer just so that, you know, I don't blend it in with the concealer. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer honestly my favorite primer so i'm just going in i'm going in going in going in going in and i'ma go hard and i'ma go hard i'm going in first off you know what it is if you heard right make a holes wobble like a bridge in an earthquake so now we can blend in our concealer and i'm gonna use just my beauty blender it's not really damp, but it's not dry. So, may oh wait, no, it's not wet. It's not dry, that means it's damp, Nicolette. That'd be, you know, that'd be smart. And I go in and I fix what I don't like. Okay. All right, boom, brows are done. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna zoom y'all in even closer. Then to start this look out, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina palette, the best palette ever. And I'm going to go into the shade Ginger. That's kind of got that's kind of going to be like my starting shade, like my base of the eye. Um, I want that all over. No excuses. I want her everywhere. All in the crease. So I'm using this Kylie brush. It's like an angled blending brush. I really, really like it because it really gets into like the crease of the eye with like definition rather than like a fluffy blending brush, which I just don't want to, I don't want to use right now for this part. So. These brushes are so old. They're like coming apart. Anyways. Does Kylie even still sell brushes? Probably not. I don't know. Anyways, off topic. Just adding that and I'm filling in the entire eye. So from the crease to the inner corner and the outer corner, almost in like a circular motion. This is the shade Ginger, if I didn't say it already. Oh my God, I'm terrible at tutorials. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the shade Edges, which is like a deeper orange and I'm gonna deepen that up just a little.
Not right. Oh my god, that's a gorgeous blend. I would just wear that. Okay. So next I'm going to go into the Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette. And I'm going into the last shade, which is the black. And I'm going to use like a packing brush to apply that on to the lid. I'm actually going to use this BH Cosmetics 104 brush because it could be a packer, but it has an angle. So um, I think it's going to help kind of keep the product where I want it to when I'm applying it. You guys will see how I use the brush. So taking that shade and I'm just going to start packing it. And it kind of helps when you swipe, it creates that angle of the brush so you're not going in places where you really don't want to go. So I really like BH cosmetic brushes. I really do. All right, I'm gonna wipe away any fallout because there was a bit from the black, but it's nothing crazy. Thank God, this is why I do my shadows first sometimes, especially with a look like this before my foundation, because I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. Anyway, so um, I want to add some glitter, so I'm going to go into the Stila, um, the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm going to take the shade Molten Midnight. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this one. I love it. So I'm just going to apply that kind of where we applied the black. Kind of in the shape of the eye, just like that. It has a really nice brush to do this as well because it really just shapes out the eye perfectly, I think, in my opinion. Oh, it's just so pretty and so like reflective. Ah. I am going to use that same brush that we took the black and I am going to kind of like blend out the edge of where we ended the the Stila because I don't want to apply it like over the whole but majority of it but I want to make sure that it's like a seamless blend so gorgeous I am going to take that Kylie brush again and kind of just buff out the edges of it with the same colors that we have on the brush to make sure that we have a clear transition and the transition isn't just like sloppy in my opinion could add a liner don't think I need I don't think I need to, I don't think I want to. So I'm gonna move on to my face. And I'm gonna show you that because I've been using a few newer products that I'll probably do like a full on review on, but I just wanna show you them. So I'm gonna take the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in the shade Medium Neutral. I I have been liking this a lot. Um, that's all I'm gonna say before I do my little video. I'm going to take my Morphe X Chapman Hill JH09 brush and use that to apply it to the skin. And now I look orange. I'm not too sure why this undertone is like that. It's neutral. It's not like it's golden or anything. I'm not too sure. But I don't necessarily hate it, especially because, of course, you know, this is my base. But I'll probably end up getting a shade or two up so that I can, like, mix it with this. Because I, I don't know. But I'm not orange, okay? So... I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Um, 16 hour caramel concealer in shade medium sand and I'm gonna apply that underneath the eyes and everywhere where I'd like to highlight. But I also like how when I apply my concealer, it kind of corrects, you know, um, if I don't like a shade or maybe the undertone, it kind of really corrects it. So I don't mind, you know, sometimes at first looking a little crazy, but if it's not fixable, then I don't waste my time because no. You can literally hear my beauty blender because of how much product. Don't judge. I am going to use the foundation brush to blend out where I put underneath like the cheekbones. Cool. 
Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. I use the shade Light Medium. I love this to just set my makeup. I don't know, I think it's so good. And it's like, what, $7.99, $8.99? I think it's a steal. I've literally been using it, using it for like the past year. And I don't even know what made me pick it up. Like, I don't know if I watched like a video and someone recommended it. I don't know, I just picked it up to try it out. I'm gonna take the excess of the powder and kind of set where I am gonna contour because I don't really like to contour on like wet skin. I like to like lightly um, powder it, but yeah, that's just my thing. I'm gonna take this Equal Tools brush and this ColourPop bronzer in shade Bits and Pieces and I'm gonna bronze the skin or contour the skin, you know? This brush is a really good contour brush for powders. like kind of just hits it where it needs to go. It has the perfect angle. I really, really like this brush. I don't know where I got it from, but I really, really like it. I will try to find it. Is there a number on it or anything? Like, no. Make sure you get under that chin. Conceal. Contour all that you've eaten, okay? Contour it. Don't be afraid, contour it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my nose now. This is also, it makes it really easy to kind of do your nose because you kind of just swipe, 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 swipe. For me, I don't do crazy nose contour, but I do still like to have a bit of bronziness and that contour effect or look on the nose. So, yep, gonna take some extra powder, powder it, and I'm just gonna wipe it all away with that same fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna spray my face with this Refreshing Face Prime and Setting Mist, uh, Fresh Rose Water and Aloe. This is from Giovanni. Mm. Perfect mist, literally. Um, so we're gonna finish off the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take the same Maybelline's The Rock Nudes palette, and I'm gonna take a really small brush. This is one of the e.l.f. brushes, it's the e.l.f. 204, it's very, very precise. I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna run that across my waterline as if it was like liner for me. Ooh. That's go gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Such an amazing mascara for the low. And I'm gonna use that to just apply mascara. Cute. Oh, I got eyeshadow in my eye. That's not cute, but it'll come out. Okay, here we go. Spritzing my face one more time just because I can. <laughs> um, I go in sometimes, you know, like, Manipulate the contour a bit around my mouth. One thing that I really like to do and I think I'm going to do today is like accentuate my beauty marks. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that with my e.l.f. liquid liner. So I kind of just gently dot over them because sometimes, especially a really full coverage foundation will cover them. Mm -hmm. And I do it lightly, but you know, just to know that I've done it. You can see it a little bit, probably not on camera, but I can see it in person, so that's what matters. We're gonna go into the lips. I'm gonna do something very simple, nude, because I don't need anything crazy. No one's gonna see my lips anyways, because you know, wearing a mask, but at the same time, I don't feel completed if I don't have a lip, so I'm like, I need to do my lips. Take my e.l.f. Russia Paradise lip liner, as you can tell. 
I love it. And this is the deepest brown in the um, collection and I'm just going to line my lips. But yeah, these liners that were in the Retro Paradise collection are so creamy and they just glide on nicely. And I don't know, I really like them. Colourpop, Colourpop? Ooh, Elf, in the bag. I'm gonna use my Elf Cam This is an all Elf like lip. I'm gonna use the Elf Camel Concealer in shade Medium Sand. This is what I use to highlight, but this is one that's like out. And I use that to dot my lips because it creates like my perfect nude. Like you're gonna see, like I absolutely love it. Like you could finesse it. If you're telling me that that isn't bomb, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is such a cute look. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna spritz my face one more time. I know it seems like a lot, but I'm not doing it like, oh my god, I'm drenching my face. My makeup's gonna fall off, but I just wanna make sure everything's in place and looking nice. I don't wanna look too cakey. I don't wanna look too powdery, too crazy, you know? So I'm gonna spritz it one more time, okay? You don't have to, but I do. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video and comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the look, which I would assume would be the eyes, but like, let me not assume. But, um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, of course, and turn on the post notification bell. We have a lot of different videos here. We do lifestyle, beauty, reaction videos, food videos. I mean, you want it, I got it. <laughs> okay, Ari, but... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!